I went through this procedure about three years ago, and obviously it has a huge impact on your life. Probably an impact that you don't anticipate a lot of times. And I think it's so helpful to talk to other people who have gone through it and hear their experiences, even if it's not exactly your own, so you know what to anticipate. So the deep flap procedure has a much bigger impact than you probably might imagine once you come home. It's already stressful thinking about the procedure itself, but thinking about what comes afterwards is really important because it does have a big impact, especially on your spouse or partner and children. I had young children at the time. This was scary for them because when I came home from the hospital, I couldn't pick them up. They couldn't even jump on the bed because you really want to sort of stay in one place and not move around very much. My husband was incredibly supportive and I was very lucky that way. It is very stressful for your family to see you going one day, leaving for the hospital totally fine and doing your thing, and then the next day coming home and really being immobile. I think in particular your husband or, or partner should really expect to be very supportive. Um, they should expect you to be very emotional. You're also potentially in some pain. And so that can all add up to having a rough time emotionally, personally. And so I think they need to expect that if you're short with them or upset, that they need to be supportive and not um, react in the way they might typically. Another thing to expect is that you need a lot of help physically. I wasn't able to get up out of bed at all for the first week after I came home from the hospital. I wasn't even able to get up and fluff my pillow. So you know how sometimes you slide down in the bed. I couldn't even get back up again uh, without help. I really needed somebody there, I would say 24 hours a day for the first week to really help me. And if that's not going to be a partner or a spouse, then it needs to be somebody there to help you. I think it's critical if you do have a partner, a spouse, a family member, anyone who is going to be in your house that's old enough to really understand what the impacts could be, join you on your pre-op appointments, at least one or as many as they can go to, to understand the impact on you and on them. Me sitting here telling everybody what my experience is doesn't equate to the power of being at the doctor's office and speaking with the doctor and the nurses and all the assistants as to what to expect.